hard to understand people when they have a different accent. Dags. Do you like dags? Dags. What? Yeah, dags. Dags. Do you like dags? Ah, uh, dogs. But there's actually a neuroscientific reason for this. Research shows that our brains stop listening for sounds that they're not expecting. So when I'm in America speaking to Americans in an Australian accent, they literally can't understand the words I'm saying, even though we're speaking in the same language. Their brain's not expecting to hear an Australian accent, so it can't make sense of the sound. Have you seen a servo or something? Servo? A servo around here? There's got to be a servo around here. The first thing their brain sends is an error message. It's only when they put in extra brain power to try and understand that they can make sense of the words I'm using. In fact, scientists at the University of Washington have shown that babies as young as six months old have stopped listening for sounds that aren't used in their native language. So six month old babies in Japan have trouble understanding the difference between the er and the uh sound that we have in English because they don't have that sound in Japanese, so their brains aren't listening for it. That's why it can be really hard to learn a new language. Our brains can't even hear the correct sounds, let alone be able to pronounce them with the fluency of a native speaker. But if you're learning a new language, don't worry. Our brains are plastic, which means they're able to form new pathways and start to hear the differences between unfamiliar sounds. And if you keep practicing, you'll be able to pronounce them too. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.